Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for my birthday, you might recall that we went to the Butterfly Conservatory in Massachusetts, Magic Wings. And while I was there, I haven't told you guys this yet, I picked up a little present for you and me. It's my spirit animal. So, I picked up a cocoon of a lunar moth. Luna moth cocoon. And he's right in here. And he's been in the fridge since we came home. It says, your Luna moth will need to be kept cold refrigerator until April 15th. After April 15th, take the cocoon out of its cup, place it in a larger container at least six inches in all directions. They need a rough surface to cling to like a twig or paper towel. Your moth should emerge two to four weeks after being kept warm. Luna moths fly only at night and they do not eat anything as an adult moth. A few hours after it hatches, you can release your moth outside if you wish. It was $8. And she opens this container. There's like 20 of these in there. And she says, you can pick whatever one you want. They're not in any plastic container. They're just like in a cocoon. So I picked a big one in hopes that it's a male moth. Because when it's a male Luna moth, they're, they've got like fuzzier antennas and they tend to be bigger and brighter but I have always been drawn to luna moths when I was a little girl uh, my parents got divorced and we moved in with my grandparents on my mom's side and every summer there would be four to six luna moths that I saw all year round cling to my grandfather's fireplace outside to, so like the brick casing of the fireplace and it was the most magical thing. And I've never seen one since. And that was many years ago. Like I must have been eight the last time I've seen one in person. I didn't even see one at the Butterfly Conservatory. They weren't even there. I think they're maybe nocturnal. I don't know. But yep, he's in here. I have taken him out of the fridge. And we got him an enclosure. So this is the enclosure that we got him. It's a big one. Uh, they recommended it. I've already added the paper towels and the sticks for him to cling to. And we just gotta put him probably like right here. And hopefully in two to four weeks, he hatches. I don't know how successful this is, but the girl at the counter said that it works. So I'm gonna hope that it works. We'll put them right like that. This will be zipped up and we'll wait for a Luna moth and any activity that happens I will fill you guys in. So that should be a fun little segment to the YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys agree and um, let's hope that it actually hatches. Okay, bye for now.